Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today we're gonna talk about diabetes supplies. I have mentioned on a few past videos that I use or was recently prescribed the Freestyle Libra 2 sensor. So I wear this on my body 24 hours a day and it gives me continuous glucose readings. Traditionally, I would have used a, a sensor and this or a freestyle light meter and some of these um, test strips. That requires sticking your finger four times, or I was doing it four times a day. So what happened for me is my diabetes got a little out of control. Uh, my doctor felt that my, my body was just becoming kind of immune to the medications that I was taking. So he started me on um, Ozempic, one milligram, milligram shot a week. I take that every Sunday. Tried that for two weeks and it still wasn't bringing my numbers down enough. So now I take 20 units of a long acting insulin. I don't remember the name of it, but I take that in the evening before I go to bed. So because I'm on insulin, now I run the risk of my blood sugars dropping or you know, the medicine not working. And that's where this comes into play. Now, I will tell you, uh, my insurance, I'm very lucky. My insurance pays for all my medications and all of my testing supplies for the needle pricking my finger, but not for, for this system. Now, Abbott Labs, who makes this, has said, and I'm not sure who, monitors it but that you don't have to pay more than $75 a month and a month consists of two sensors so I get two of these boxes and it, my insurance charges $74.99 so if your insurance won't cover it then you go to Abbott Labs they have some form you fill out and then they will supplement so you only pay $75 a month which I understand is kind of steep but like I said, I'm very lucky that my insurance covers 100% of all of my other diabetes supplies. So this is all I pay. And I felt that it was worth it. Now, they do have a sensor you can buy, which is like a cell phone, but it just reads this. But because I have an iPhone, I can use uh, my iPhone as my sensor. And somewhere around here, I will insert some pictures. So what this is, is it is just what it says. It's a small sensor. So you open your box, you get some directions. Um, I went into my doctor's office and they showed me how to use this. In the box, so you get your directions, you get one sensor. So in here is the sensor that will be attached to my skin. And right here is how it will be delivered. This is the mechanism and you get two um, alcohol wipes. Hold on. I just threw away my sensor, but I want to show you. I'm back. So I wasn't going to make this video today. It's Friday and I don't change my sensor till Sunday, but the adhesive gave out and it popped off. So I had to call. There's a phone number to call Abbott Labs. And you tell them, because my insurance will only pay for two a month. Every 28 days, they'll pay for two. And I think regular price, one sensor is like $200. Now, there's lots of different sensors. This is the Libra 2, and this is what it looks like. And it just sticks to my skin. And if you can see, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but that little tiny, there's a little tiny black, looks like a hair. That is what's in my skin. And this is the adhesive side. So somehow maybe some shower water or something got under it. Um, they do sell stickers that you can put over these to hold them on and they do sell adhesive glue. Now I will tell you, when I went to my doctor's office and the nurse who de deals with all this, she, um, she put it on my arm for me and used some, some skin adhesive and then tape over it. And for two weeks, my app beeped at me that it couldn't get a reading. It drove me nuts. But the first time I changed it for myself, it stopped doing that. So I think it was just all the extra adhesive and all of that stuff. 
just as a heads up. So the one thing you wanna make sure is that your skin is very clean and you sanitize the whole area. I'm gonna put it on my stomach, so I'm not gonna show you what I'm doing, but I'll talk you through what I'm doing because nobody wants to see that. But you just take your alcohol swap and I'm just putting it right here on my stomach. And I'm just going to do this. The thing says only on your arm, but my nurse said no. You can put it anywhere you have enough fat tissue for it to live. But you really wanna get your skin nice and clean. And this is, the alcohol is taking the oils off so that the adhesive sticks. So I did two swabs. You do you, I did two. Okay, I'm holding my shirt up so my, it doesn't touch. Then this thing that looks like a juice box, you open this up and you remove this plastic. It just unscrews. So this is the adapter or the thing that attaches it. And on here, there's a line that goes down and it matches the line in here. So I just line them up, this line with that, and then you squeeze it. And now it's loaded. Pull it apart. This is empty. And this is the inside of the sensor. And that white you see is the adhesive. Now I'm just making sure my skin is dry from the alcohol and then you just push it. And I don't, I, this is the fourth time I've done it and I don't feel a thing and it's on there and I'll show you what it looks like. So it's right here, stays on my skin. Now, because I've lost a lot of weight, my skin is kind of loose and I think that's part of the issue. So I might need to buy some over tape to kind of hold it in place. And then when I'm done recording here, I'll throw this away. There is a lot of medical waste. Unfortunately, there's really not a lot you can do about it. Those sensors are very expensive and they need to be protected. So what I will do is take my phone I will scan it, it will recognize that this is a new sensor. It will prime it, and then I have to wait an hour before I get any kind of blood reading. So in the hour, if I start to feel funny or off or need to check my sugar, I will check this. And I still check my sugar several times a week. The difference between, so here's some fun information. When I prick my finger, I'm drawing blood. So the blood is gonna be the first. So I stick this, it snaps, a little needle goes in, I get a little drop of blood, I put it on here, and I get a reading on my machine, whatever my current blood sugar is at that moment. This sensor that I'm wearing is about 20 minutes behind. So if I do a reading and it says I'm 300 and rising, because you'll get a number and then arrows kind of indicating, I will wanna do a check-in and I would check my blood sugar with this just to make sure that it's within 20 points, something around those lines, because your blood sugar is constantly going up and down, but your the sensor is checking the sugar in the fluid in your body and not the blood, if that makes sense, where the finger prick is going right to the blood, and so your blood sugars will rise or fall before your sensor. So if it tells you you're low, you definitely want to check and make sure how low you are because it's going to be a better and more accurate reading. But the sensor gives you a more accurate picture, if that makes sense, or a more consistent picture. Because it, what it does is it checks your glucose levels every minute without, um, you know, without you knowing it, it's just behind the scenes. So I only have to hit the scanner a couple times a day just to make sure it stays awake and it gets my reading. So I try to do it right before I go to bed just to make sure that overnight that it's getting my readings. But it definitely has been a whole new way of life. And for me, somebody who does keto, if I want to try a new food that I think is going to be okay for me, you know, I would fast for two hours. I say fast, but just drink water or no eat anything for two hours, check my blood, eat something, and then every 20 minutes, every 
you know, 15, 20 minutes, check the scanner. And I keep going like this because you hold your phone or the sensor over this sensor. But I'll keep checking it and then um, I'll know if my blood sugar shoots up, then it's probably not something that I should be eating. And that's how I've always done it, but I've had to stick my finger every 20 minutes for two hours and boy, that is not fun. So it's kind of freed up my life a little bit and the insulin is helping a lot. My blood sugars are back normal and I feel better. And that's what's most important, being a diabetic. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I don't mind at all answering any questions. I've been diabetic for a very long time. I've just been able to control it with diet and exercise, and now I can't. So I need to have some more medicine on board. All right, guys, well, I hope that was informational for you, and you have a happy new year, and I will talk with you later. Bye.